Good afternoon, everybody. It is me, Josh, and we forecast, guys, and welcome back to the video. Hope you guys are all enjoying your wonderful two, oh, sorry, Monday afternoon, guys. And again, welcome back. This is my second video today, and this was, uh, the video will actually be on not uh, on the western uh, snowstorm. I'm not going to be focusing on the on um, windstorm Dorothy. I'm actually going to be focusing on the western snowstorm, and then later this afternoon. Or, I guess you can say early evening, I will be doing another update on Windstorm Dorothy, so you guys don't have to worry about it. But yeah, I'm going to be doing another Western Storm update. We'll have a lot of Windstorm warnings, we have Windstorm watches, and even Windstorm advisories across many of these areas that could have some snow on Thanksgiving and beyond. So, be sure to hit the subscribe button, guys. It really means a lot when you support my channel, guys. Also, be sure to hit the like button. Let's try to get to 15 likes. And yeah, without further ado, let's get in this video. So again, as you can tell, we have quite a lot of um, windstorm alerts for much of the United States. Of course, these are with a uh, windstorm Dorothy, but again, we're not going to be focusing on that. We're going to be focusing on all these ab about um, around the western Rockies and the Sierra Mountains. Of course, we have those uh, two mountain ranges that are associated with this snowstorm. So I believe this will be named, but it's fair. I don't know yet because, again, it is about close to um, around three to five days away. Uh, because it will be lasting all the way next week, or this weekend. Uh, but as you can tell, we have quite a lot of windstorm warnings. Uh, this will be affecting areas all the way near um, Yosemite National Park, uh, areas in Lake Tahoe, through the Sierra Mountains, and then also the other portion of the Sierra Mountains closer to the coast uh, for southeastern Oregon and northeastern uh, California. We also do have plenty of winter storm watches and effects for areas in north, uh, north central or around northeast uh, western. Oh, sorry, I meant northwestern and southwestern Oregon. Sorry, southwestern Oregon and northwestern California, not southeastern and bad so yeah we're gonna have northwestern montana that had could have a couple advice windstorm watches we we'll also do have uh, north central oregon with uh, windstorm watches and also western idaho and we have a lot of areas out here for more of um east central or central and eastern from nevada that also have windstorm watches throughout m many of those desert areas with the higher elevations and we also do have a couple advisors near reno and carson city and also the areas of south uh, southwestern Utah that also have windstorm watches uh, and then we also again those advisories uh, for Carson City and Reno and also for South, South Central Oregon also a couple years in the Sierra Mountain uh, and also the uh, crest of the Rockies out there in North uh, Central Idaho and we also do have some uh, high wind watches and high wind warnings in effect for many areas out here for the uh, southwest and we also do have a couple for the coastal areas because we could be seeing some strong wind that's why we could be seeing those blizzard conditions of course so as you can tell by let's just go a bit back so as we go into tuesday night or tuesday afternoon we do have some light snow uh, our first kind of snow coming with this system here just off the west uh, coast of course as we get into wednesday morning though this is when we really really start to see this rain and snow pick up especially for these uh west the western part of oregon uh not too far from the coast obviously it's gonna get pretty close to the coast uh, but obviously we're not gonna have coastal so areas they're gonna be seeing snow but we'll be seeing blizzard conditions in effect for north uh, for Northern California, we'll also start to see the snow becoming a bit more widespread. For about 80% of Oregon, we'll be seeing that snow, of course, uh, except for um, those coastal areas. And then as we get into Wednesday uh, afternoon, or somewhat evening, we'll see that snow becoming a bit more widespread. And that will have plenty of areas that we'll be seeing some uh, delays with uh, rain, uh, the snow. As you can tell, we're going to be seeing really heavy snow near Yosemite National Park, of course. We're also going to be seeing that, again, heavy Sierra Mountain snow. Most of these areas will be will, will be in the higher elevations, except for areas right here into central Utah and south central Nevada. And we'll also see, again, the uh, rocky snowstorm uh, for Yellowstone National Park. And then as we get into, th uh, this is a Thanksgiving morning, we'll see the southern uh, Rockies, um, uh, in the southern Rockies, we'll start to see some snow starting to pick up right on Thanksgiving morning. This will bring an incredibly heavy snow for Albuquerque and much of north central New Mexico. And then here's the first system where, again, we'll also be seeing that heavy snow for Salt Lake City, south central Nevada, and also areas near uh, Helena, Montana, and also um, the Na Yellowstone National Park. As we get into uh, Thanksgiving, um, 
I guess you can say around noon time, this, we'll start to see that snow coming into the plains. So Omaha, Nebraska, North Central, uh, Kansas, maybe even Kansas City, again, Albuquerque, areas in Salt Lake City. Many of these areas uh, just be beyond west of the plains will be seeing quite some huge issues with snowfall and even black friday we can see this two these two systems right here uh, we'll have this first or this first system to just continue to stay in areas and all the way from arizona to uh to montana and then we'll have the second one that could bring very heavy snow for omaha we can have snow for des moines we can also have some snow for minnesota rochester and as we get closer into Black Friday, that's when we'll see this uh, snowstorm coming a bit bigger into Madison, Wisconsin, almost, yeah, all of Minnesota, Bismarck, Arizona, Duluth. We'll also be seeing blizzard conditions for the southwest, including Flagstaff and even southwestern Utah. So we're definitely going to have a lot of snow. And then by uh, later on to Black Friday, this is where we can really see some crazy conditions. This will definitely be a name storm. Obviously, it'll be after if Dorothy be, after Dorothy, and then also we've seen this incredibly heavy snow though for south or for, for western New Mexico and Den uh, Colorado, and we'll see some quite some heavy snow for those Rockies. And then Saturday, we can see even a major snowstorm. But again, I'm not going to get uh, really detailed in that part. Uh, as I said, as it gets closer to Thanksgiving, maybe the maybe uh, maybe even. Wednesday, I'll probably get into details of that, but I just don't, I want to focus on this holiday stuff, you know, but as you go in the next 60 hours, this will be Thanksgiving morning, so that's where we'll really start to see the snow again for Salt Lake City, and that is before we have this first, this second system that come in get, as we get over this cold uh, the cold hours where we'll it's hard to see again the Sierra Mountain snow, especially for Yamasit. That's what we're definitely be seeing that heavy snow as we get again to Thursday um, or Thanksgiving. Uh, more like late, late morning or early, early afternoon. Again, we'll have that snow for Omaha, Kansas City, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Looks like the GFS is kind of showing a bit smaller of a storm. And then again, here we have this other part in the Rockies, all the way from Flagstaff to areas near Billings in the northeastern part of Montana. As we get later into uh, Black Friday, uh, usually when the shopping should be done by now. Uh, but again, for those late shoppers or if you're gone by traffic, I, I really, I would not recommend if you go out here. Just, to, I wouldn't recommend going out here. You may be used to getting feet of snow. I just wouldn't recommend. May, many people could be on the roads at this time. So it's just not worth the risk. Again, we can have areas in Salt Lake City, Cheyenne, Wyoming, near Flagstaff, uh, areas in uh, near Albuquerque in the south, the south, the southern part of Arizona, New Mexico, and then of course this lighter other snow for the northern plains. Looks so like the Europeans definitely showing a, a lot, uh, a lot bigger. As we get to Saturday, though, this completely changes. Again, I'll talk about this later on i know you probably you're probably either thinking yeah i guess we can go later or you're probably thinking just go just slow me the radar but yeah guys I, honestly guys you already know this video is going to become long enough just by talking talking about this whole week or oh, this whole week all the way until friday and this is going to go all the way into black friday night so you guys don't get the extra snowfall with this other storm or same storm, but later on, this, guys, this is to see how much snow you have for Thanksgiving and Black Friday. This is not from what you're going to see from Sunday or anything. This is specifically for Thanksgiving and Black Friday, and actually mostly before Thanksgiving, so for those travel. But we're going to have huge issues, of course, right here. Again, this is all from Winter Storm Dorothy. Um, if you want to focus on that, but it hasn't changed since. And then here's the one we're going to be talking about right here. In this western part here as you can tell we'll be seeing a lot of snow for new mexico albuquerque can be seeing up to 10 to a foot of 10 inches to a foot of snow that's quite crazy flagstaff can be seeing up to two feet of snow in areas near prescott just outside of flagstaff again flagstaff i believe is the highest elevation in arizona i don't know if that's correct but either way flagstaff will be seeing quite a lot of snow areas just south southeast of flagstaff could even see up to 29 inches of snow which is quite a lot of snow you m most people think of arizona as a desert but again they also have very high elevations some points even have higher elevations than the appalachians we can also have quite a bit of snow again this is most this most of the snow will be from uh, uh most of the snow is from uh, Dorothy, but again, we'll also be seeing this heavy snow for the southwestern Rockies and again the southwestern part of Colorado, where we could be seeing up to three feet of snow. Can you imagine that three feet of snow on 
by Black Friday. Like, I don't think, imagine, that is worth 10 years or more of our snowfall, except for, like, 2018, we got, like, not, uh, 8 inches. But, again, we're also going to be seeing quite a lot of snow for the Sierra Mountains, of course. Not too, too many of my viewers are out there, but we have quite a bit of people that live in the Sierra Mountains. We're just outside. Again, Yamasin National, or Yosemite National Park, we'll be seeing quite a bit of snow again. I used to think Yamasin was right here, like, last year, but apparently it's down here. Again, we have those Sierra Mountains that stretch all the way just outside of Los Angeles and San Diego. So we can even see snow, see snow just outside of um, San Diego, those southern Sierra Mountains, where we could be seeing up to a foot of snow. So you won't be too far from the snow if you're in Los Angeles. Maybe I think a three-hour trip down to the uh, east of you, and then we'll also be seeing up to 20 to 30 inches near um, uh, what's it called, Lake Tahoe, and then also be seeing a quite up to a foot or a foot and a half throughout Oregon and uh, northern. California, and then we'll also be seeing quite a bit of snow for Yellowstone and the area near Salt Lake City. That could be seeing quite a bit of snow, up to maybe even at most, at most, at most, 19 inches of snow, which is quite a bit. So now we're looking at the GFS, and and I'll get all this is basically from Dorothy. So when, or actually no, that's not true. Almost all this is from Dorothy. Uh, oh my gosh, why can I actually circle? Like most of this is from Dorothy, of course. Um, but as you can tell, again, we could be seeing up to 29 inches for Lake Tahoe and up to 3 feet again for Yosemite and even up to 15 to 20 inches for North Northern and uh, Northern California and Southern Oregon. Again, we'll also have a bit less amount of snow for those areas uh, in the Northern Sierra Mountains and near areas in Washington. We'll be seeing quite a bit of snow, though, for these areas in Southern Utah and Southern Oregon. Or something in Oregon, Colorado, and also it looks like Flagstaff could be seeing on the dot up to 35 inches, guys. That's quite a crazy amount, up to 14 inches for southern Arizona, and even up to half a foot of snow for southeastern New Mexico. We can even see maybe a smaller amount of snow out there, about four to six inches near uh, near Lubbock and Amarillo, and even up to see more than four feet of snow. Yes, more than four feet of snow for south. Um, southwestern colorado again this is mostly uh mostly i want to say bessie for some reason but mostly from dorothy and then we'll also be seeing up to again around uh, just uh, just outside of salt lake city about eight to 20 inches of snowfall that's quite a big range but yeah it is and then two feet or more for near logan utah of course and then of course cheyenne could be seeing up to more than a foot of snow so i hope you guys enjoyed the video guys please do not forget to like and subscribe we have a huge amount of snow just to cover again we can also be seeing about a foot of snow just outside of las vegas of course we have those higher mountains outside of las vegas too so it's a weird thing these huge cities that you think that get up to 100 degrees and up to all the way to october can see snow just come miles away from them but yeah i hope you got into the video i'll be having another update um right after uh not right after this uh i'm going to be uh, playing um, me and my friend are going to walk in a trail in my neighborhood to the water to a waterfall and then we're going to play tennis so i should not really come have an update until maybe six I just want to say maybe in between 5.30 and 6.30 might be more closer to 6 o'clock. I don't know, but I'm going to be waiting, of course, for the, G the new GFS run. But bye, guys.